happening today. St. Louis University is set to announce a new president. This five year plan looks really rough for thousands of Illinois families. Today marks the one year anniversary that troopers here lost one of their own in the line of duty. So to honor that fallen brother, troopers are going to be out all over the state of Illinois, hitting major interstates like this one, I-55. Get this, I'm told in those three years that the worst crime, we're talking the most violent crime, has gone down in this community 30 8% a whopping number. More details about the winning Powerball ticket sold right here in Missouri. We now know it was purchased in Bridgeton. This is the intersection in question. There's a red light camera right over here, right over there. But as we zoom out, check out what is right next to me. An ice cream shop literally just feet away from the streets. And you can imagine it's an ice cream shop that is going to be full of families and little kids during these warmer summer months. Can you believe it? It is the last day without Cardinals baseball. The Redbirds take on the Reds tomorrow in Cincinnati, but a lot of people are focusing on the home opener here and the newly opened Ballpark Village. News 4's Brittany Noble is live near Bush Stadium with more. These cameras will be able to scan the license plates of cars going by. And special effects help movies. The movie is called Ghost. Yes. Well, how are you guys making this a musical on stage without the help of those special effects? So it turns out each year the government sinks more than a billion dollars into thousands of empty buildings. It is never worth playing chicken with a train and trying to go around those crossing arms to save a little bit of time. I know it sounds like common sense, but this is a very common problem here in Illinois. It is. Discomforting. Now, what's even more discomforting is that you said <clears throat> Netflix is the main TV watch. Right. Wait, you're on TV every day. I know. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't watch myself. <laughs> I watch you. I watch News 4. There you of go. Of course I watch News 4. <laughs> I say I watch News 4. Yeah, bosses, can you hear that? I think they can. Now she is furious, saying the school handled things all wrong. Police originally believed the victim was seven years old. We are now just learning, though, that the boy was 11. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers, the anonymous tip line, and stay with News 4 all day for the latest updates. The coin in Chester remains competitive. Somewhat a vague response in that. You could probably throw in any town in the Metro East and get the same response. But we will get full details on the governor's plan for your taxes when his speech does begin at noon today. Back to you. Mike Colombo watching basketball. I don't <laughs> <Shocker>. believe it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mike. And happening today, U.S. Senator Dick Durbin will pay a visit to Scott Air Force Base. He'll be joined by the chief of staff of the Air Force, General Mark Welsh. I really, I have mixed emotions about it. I, I really do. I have mixed emotions, and I kind of have a personal tie to this. Uh, my sister and I both cheered in college, and she cheered when Illinois made it to the Final Four. And her picture is all over the place. It's still on a commercial that runs on our air. I see her picture all the time. That's a good and I point. think it I think should she be getting paid for right. this? I mean, she had the time of her life. Sure. But think of Johnny Manziel. I mean, think of how many football tickets were right. sold simply because of that guy. Yeah, yeah. Interesting it's a, it's a, it is. An update now to a story we first told you about yesterday on News 4 This Morning. St. Louis police tell us they are forming a plan to battle a disturbing trend called organized fun mobs. The only way that I would know is because it's been in the news. And that is our job to get these new laws out to all of you in the news. So we will continue to follow these laws in Illinois and also what Illinois politicians are doing. Anytime I do find out an update that will impact you, I'll pass it along to you here on News 4 this morning. Parents usually have to chip in about $100 a student. Time is running out to sign up for health insurance under Obamacare. A look at the final hours before the deadline coming up. The Blues will be back on the ice Tuesday night to take on the Philadelphia Flyers last night. They just couldn't get the job done against Dallas. The Stars, who are fighting for the last playoff spot in the Western Conference, took the lead about four minutes into the first period. The puck gets past Ryan Miller. It was one nothing Stars. Well, things did get a little rough after that. Steve Ott getting a penalty. Then to the second period. Now, Dallas goes up 2 nothing before the Blues finally get on the board. There'll be a power play goal by Alexander Steen. That cut Dallas lead 2-1. to one. Hey, that's Steen's 32nd goal of the year. He also scored again in the third, but Dallas added two more goals to beat the Blues 4-2. to two. 
Hey, get your brackets out and keep your TV right here on News 4. We have a full afternoon of more March Madness. UConn takes on Michigan State while Kentucky battles Michigan. Meanwhile, Florida already chomped its way to the Final Four. The Gators took on Dayton yesterday. The Flyers came up with some big plays like this three-pointer. Oh yeah, right there, and everyone at the Dayton watch party was on their feet. There they are, thinking upset, but the overall number one dominated the boards at both ends and overpowered Dayton. The final in this one, 62-52. You can imagine there were tears on both sides when this one was over. Dayton's going home. Florida's going to Texas for the final four. And last night's other game featured Arizona against Wisconsin, but the Cats and Badgers needed more than 40 minutes to decide this one. Say hello to some overtime. Now, Bucky did open its lead to three, then Arizona came back. The Wildcats had a chance to win it. They tried once, they tried twice, but on Wisconsin. Bo Ryan's Badgers beating Arizona and punching their ticket to the final four. The final there, 64 to 63. And a big congratulations to the Central Missouri Mules. They are the Division II National Champions. Central Missouri is coached by former Mizzou Tiger Kim Anderson. The Mules trailed West Liberty most of the first half, but they came back in the second. Central Missouri wins 84-77. The Mules won the national title 30 years ago, and now they've got it again. Well, we had some adversity. Now the Cardinals are in Cincinnati working out this weekend for tomorrow's season opener against the Reds. The Cards have more speed this year and that should give them another way to score runs, but manager Mike Matheny says they won't get carried away with it. We're not trying to force the issue. Oh, baseball season means spring yes. is finally here to St. Louis. means looking, mm -hmm. you know, as it rolls around, it's like, yes, yeah, spring is finally here, warmer weather. Yeah, they kind of go one and the same. I like they? that. Yes. Nice little shot of the uh, Ooh, look ballpark at that. this morning. Little hazy. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got bright blue skies above and then closer to the surface, some fog mm -hmm. out there as we get this day started. Give it to about 9 a.m. and that should be out of here.